Thank you so much. I want to thank Cody and Lauren for putting this on. Give those guys a big hand for doing this. Amazing, amazing event, okay? Amazing. Really, you guys are awesome. Like, when he called and said, hey, would you do this deal? The fact that they're willing to, to do something they've never done before, bring together people on a Saturday, a Saturday afternoon, a Friday, a Saturday afternoon, to, to think about how you can do more, how you can do better. In, in, a, in a time where there's so much division in this country, for the last 48 hours, you guys have been thinking about how do I grow my business. So give these guys another big hand. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Awesome. And, and give yourselves a big hand for being here. Part of the solution right here. Part of the solution. All right, all right, go ahead and sit down, please, please. And, 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 uh, and, and, and it's, my, it's my pleasure to be here with you today to help you in any way I can. It's my mission. My mission is to help people. I was helped along the way. And uh, there's a couple people in my life that really made a difference in my life. So most of them, by the way, were strangers. They're not people that I sought out. They're people that just entered my life and said something to me, like, you know, questioned me, challenged me. You know, maybe I've challenged you somewhere along your path. And uh, I tend to challenge people quite, quite heavily uh, because coddling me never helped me, right? It was, it was somebody pushing me. I think the best coaches push to get the best, the, the, the greatness out of you. So uh, if, if you've ever experienced me being hard on you, I know my wife experiences that quite a bit. Give her a big hand. So, so, you know, I, I am hard. I am hard on her, okay? Because, because but, but, you know, it's because I'm hard on me. So I don't know how many of you can relate to, like, when you're going to sleep at night and you're like, I can do more. I know I can do more. I don't know how many of you in the room are dissatisfied with where you're at in your life. Man, I, I encourage you to just, I encourage you to, like, embrace the dissatisfaction. We live, we live in a time right now where everybody's like, oh, love yourself the way you are. Just love yourself the way you are. Some of you, some of you have to lie to yourself to love yourself just the way you are. <laughs> like when you, know, when you know you have this much potential and you're operating right here, to love yourself right here when you know you could do that is the ultimate lie. On this planet, people will stand in line to lie to you. You shouldn't be one of the people in the line, lying to you. Okay, these little two freeloaders right here, come on up, freeloaders. Come on up, freeloaders. They're my freeloaders. Okay. Would you, would you like to introduce yourself? Talk right in here, talk in here. My name is Scarlett, and I can do anything. And my name's Sabrina, and I can do anything. Okay. Come on, guys, come out here. See, 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 I'm going to make sure they're not freeloaders because I'm, I'm putting them to work today. And that makes this trip totally tax deductible. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Get off the stage, you little freeloader. Okay, I want to show you an image that, that this was not done by me, by the way. Uh, can, you, can you pop that image up, my guy in the back? I don't know if they can see that. Can they see it or just me see it? Yeah, that, Okay. So this, this, this last night, this was the World Series last night. I don't know how many of you watched the game last night. Um, this is not an actual shot. Clearly, this was Photoshopped. Okay, I was not Photoshopped. By the way, this has everything to do with what I'm going to share with you today. Okay, the shirt is red because I knew I would be in a sea of blue. Okay, can you throw me your hat, sir? The, the hat that I wore and that my wife wore, by the way, was this hat, okay, red, in a sea of blue. Don't, don't, don't think that we, I didn't know what I was doing there last night, okay? People are like, you, you, you a Red Sox fan? I am tonight. <laughs> because if I wear blue tonight, I will be lost in this sea, Okay? A guy I've been trying to do business with for five years texts me during the game, and he said to me, at the very least, with the best seats in the house, you could wear blue. And I said, dude, you should know better than that. Because if I wear blue, I'm lost. So you guys do insurance, but I can't see you. 
And the product is not going to sell itself. Everybody agree? It's not like I'm going to come to you and say, please hook me up on some insurance. I need some. I need some. I'm dying for some insurance. <laughs> okay. So look, you got to get attention. These are my notes today. Okay. I wrote my notes because I'm from Louisiana. So we're fairly conservative people. Uh, uh, I said, not, don't waste any money. Can you show me that image again, sir? Put, don't waste any money, money on your notes. Spend it on advertising. Okay. Those seats cost 40 grand and I thought that they were cheap. I thought that was a cheap deal. I thought it was a steal because last year I paid 123,000 for game seven. Front two row seats to be in every shot, every pitch, cameras on me. See, I wasn't taught this when I, when I was going to business school or college. Get attention, right? Now, these seats right here, Oh, I'm sorry you guys can't actually see the thing. You'll go Google search it today and just go look at, like try to find a pitch where my wife and I were not in the shot. By the way, I paid her to be at the World Series last night, okay? <laughs> Don't kid yourself. That makes that trip tax deductible. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, okay? The fact that I wore 10X makes the trip now, what's your word? What's your word you use? Fantastic. 10X fantastic. We're going to take fantastic and put it on some steroids. Okay. All right. I also had a flag. You don't see it in here, but the reason you see this big 10X flag behind me was during the game, I took a flag. I didn't bring it with me today. I, 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 I wasn't thinking. And I had this flag. It's about this big. And I would bring it out every once in a while. And I'd be like, 10X. And it is yellow with a black and an X. That's a book that I wrote, okay? Again, what I'm sharing with you right now is not really about me. It's about you and your business. So don't get confused with listening to me talk about myself. I'm talking about what you could be doing to get attention. Because if you don't get attention, I'll promise you, your life conditions will never change. If you do not get attention, the conditions of your life will never change. No matter how you vote, no matter what church you go to, if you do not get more attention, you cannot change your conditions without attention. Okay? So last night I would open this thing up. I would open this thing up. Okay? Now remember, I'm sitting in a with a bunch of Los Angeles Dodgers people. They're all around me. They're mostly business people. Okay? They're not out there, hey, look at me. Right? And I'm doing this thing every once in a while. The National Baseball League comes up to me in the third inning and says, dude, don't do the flag anymore. Don't do the flag anymore. Okay, you do the flag, we're going to have to come take the flag away. I'm like, you got it, man. Always agree, always agree, always agree. How, how, many, how many of you read the book, Sell or Be Sold? Yeah, good, good. Always agree. You got it. Now, Elena didn't read my book. She sleeps with me. She don't have to read the book, which is a shame, by the way. Would you agree? Man, you guys got to get on the same page, okay? Because she starts arguing with this guy. Why, why can't we do it? She goes into her right to bear arms. <laughs> in, 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 in Los Angeles. That, that, that's not where you do that. She's like, I didn't do anything wrong, and it's fine, and we should be able to do whatever we want to do. I'm like, Elena, Elena, I said, sir, it's all right. He's like, look, if, I, if you do it again, man, I'm going to come back and take it, right? I said, no problem, man. No one full and well like a child. I'm definitely going to be doing it again. <laughs> oh, for sure I'm going to be doing it again. Because look, th this is my calculator. This is my calculator, okay? If the national, the, the, the major league baseball sent somebody to tell me not to use this flag, how many damn people saw my flag? Okay? I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Okay? So I would take the flag out and I would just play with the flag. I just kind of play with it here, put it in my pocket. I put it right here. I had it hang out. Oh, 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 by the way, Gucci belts, Hermes belts, not tax deductible, 10X belt, fantastic, fantastic tax deductible, okay, new Gulfstream 550, tax deductible. 
That's right. That way I don't have to do the Southwest flight and waste my time, which is limited. Time is? Yeah, but if you were brought up in the South, you weren't taught that. You weren't taught to get attention. In fact, you were taught everything reverse. You were taught everything reverse, okay? You see, see my notes here, starting with this. Man. Let me see. Which, where, where, where's the story? Okay, here's my notes, man. First thing, promote, promote, promote. Promote, promote, promote. What did your parents teach you about promotion? Because you were taught something about it. If you're not doing it, you were taught something that would suggest you shouldn't do it. Okay, listen to what I'm telling you right now. Some of you are running around saying, oh man, I wasn't taught any of this stuff. No, no, the problem is you were taught something else. You do not live in a vacuum. You are not operating in a mental vacuum. You have data, most of you, which by the way, have too much data. My life started changing when I started stripping data away, not adding data. Knowledge is over you. If the data is wrong, okay, Bert's talking about follow-up. Look, if you don't know what to say to somebody in the greeting, you're not going to follow up. Right? Like the whole thing's all connected. All this stuff is connected. The attention is connected to the money. The money's connected to the sale. The sale's connected to can I communicate. It's connected to the follow-up, connected to money again. Why, Why don't you guys advertise? Oh, I don't, I don't have the money. I, th- I think it says it in here. Yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why, why, don't, why don't you? Why don't you? You don't have a commitment? Possibly. But I think most of you do have a commitment. You want to do better. Who wants to do better? Say yes. Yeah. Man, I want to do better, dude. Like, like I want to do better now. It's, it's easy to want to do better when you're suffering. It's, it's not as easy when things get good. See, most of you right now, like you're in the good zone, right? You're good, man. You're going to go home tonight. Who, who's sleeping on the streets tonight? Let me see a hand if you're sleeping on the streets tonight. Well, you guys are like, I'm good. I got air conditioning tonight. In your case, heaters. Okay, I got a heater tonight. My kids wanted to stay over. I said, I ain't staying there. It's cold. We're going back to Miami, man. We're either going to go back to Miami or we're going back to L.A. Because it's cold. Right? I was wearing a jacket and a shirt today. I'm like, it's too cold. I had to put on my gear. Right? So, like, most of you, your problem is, man, you're so comfortable. Why commit to another level? Because the next level, I, tr- I promise you, the next level is so uncomfortable. It's so hard to do this. It's so hard to take a flag in front of millions of people and say, hey, this is what I stand for. Okay? Twitter lights up immediately. How tacky. Okay? Never be that guy. Okay? You, you, you guys think that this is all comfortable for me and everything? No, it's not, man. I'm doing what I got to do to take care of my wife, my kids, my dream, and my church. You know? <laughs> churches, churches on this planet are dying because you won't go out and get attention for your church. Not saying, hey, I'm a Catholic or I'm a Protestant or I'm a Baptist or I'm, I'm a Mormon or whatever. You're not, do, you're not being a good example. You're not, you're not, you're not getting so big. Right? Elon Musk smokes weed. So you know what? There's, you know how many young kids think now? Oh, man, I can smoke the weed, dog. Dude, Elon does it. Phelps does it. Phelps, look at Phelps. He's got all these gold, all this gold. He's smoking the herb. Okay? Okay? Look, man, drugs beat everybody. They beat billionaires. They'll beat gold Olympic medalists. They'll beat everybody. At the end of the game, they'll beat you. Okay? It's just win. doesn't mean you can't accomplish things. But they're going to beat you. But the point of that is this. What example are you going to set? Right? All people know about me last night is what is 10X? Okay? Last night, 10X. The, how many of you read the book 10X? Okay? The 10X rule. The 10X rule. There it is right there. Can I see it? The 10X rule is a book. It's a book I wrote about how to... How to about how, 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 how do I multiply something? How do I multiply so that if I go back to biblical times when they talked about drought and scarcity, okay? If you look in the Bible, if you go back, you're going to see that people weren't 10Xing. That's why people went into poverty, okay? If you go back to the farm times, you're going to see back in the farm times, back in the 30s and 40s, when we hit these big droughts, issues with farmers did not produce enough so they couldn't take care of themselves, 
See, the 10X rule is really about, I'm going to take care of me, I'm going to take care of my wife and two kids, and then I'm going to start multiplying and see how many neighborhoods or communities or cities I could actually fund if I needed to. Right? So, so, so this, this is a book, okay? This book has now since become something that, that's bigger than a book, and it's definitely bigger than, than me, okay? It involves people wanting to do something, multipliers, not addition, you know? See, you were taught to add, not multiply. I don't teach my kids to add and subtract. I'm like, look, get the first 10 numbers down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then skip. 10, 100. <laughs> Dude, you don't want to do all that stuff in between, man. Okay, it's ridiculous. We went to, we went to the, the girls and said, look, they, they don't like school. How many of you didn't like school? Okay, so I'll sign that before I leave, all right? Okay, no disrespect to you or the book, by the way. Um, I told my kids, I said, look, if you guys want to do 12 years, stay in the public schools, okay? Or the private schools, whatever. I'll get you a private school. They're no better than the public schools. It's all garbage, okay? Because it takes too long. It just takes too long. Who wants to do anything for 12 years? I don't want to be where I'm at at 12 years from now. Right? I want to skip. So you guys got to start thinking about how do I multiply, okay? What were you taught about attention as a kid? Say again. Don't get too much attention. Don't be the center of attention. Right or wrong? See? See, this is what you guys got to strip away. Be seen and... Okay? Uh, 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 don't toot your... Don't toot your own arm, man. Then why have one? I told my mom. My mom's like, don't toot your own arm. Why, why'd you get me the musical instrument? That'd be like Taylor Swift not using her gifts. That'd be like having that stadium out there and not filling it up with people, man. Okay? You want to write this down. Money follows attention. If you got a money problem, it's because you hadn't gotten enough attention. Because there's no shortage of the money. There's plenty of money going around. Who's got some money? Y'all, y'all blowing money out here, buddy. Oh, I want, I want, I want the dollar. <laughs> Shit, be like, whole world become a prostitute. <laughs> and dollars too okay notice what happens when that cannon comes out man y'all go crazy right it's a natural instinct I gotta have it right we'll chase a dollar but not chase a billion dollars why this is what I've been asking myself my whole life I was telling Chuck uh, on the way in here we were upstairs talking and, I, and he's like, hey, man, what's that new jet like? I said, dude, it's unbelievable. But I said, what you don't know is the first time I walked on one, and I said, this will never happen in my lifetime. Elena was tripping, so excited, sharing it on her Instagram. Oh, my God. This is a new jet we were looking at about a year and a half ago. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is incredible. And I was freaking hostile, inside, eaten up, angry, like venomous anger, like, oh, this will never happen. This will never happen in my lifetime. This is impossible. This is so far out. I was so angry at myself. I'm like, this will never happen in my lifetime. That, that's the whole story of my life, man. Like 60 years of me being angry at me for not, not playing at another level. So how many of you can relate to that? Do you should be angry with yourself. Okay? This gentleman right here, this man back here in the back, you guys are running out of time, man. You guys know it. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm 60 years old. Tick tock, dude. Tick tock. Okay? Like, when are you going to make a difference? Right? When are you going to get enough attention to be like, hey, I'm going to trade 40 grand to have millions of people see me on TV? Right? Last night, the 10X rule on Google searches on a scale to 100, which is what they rate it to, hit 100. The last time that happened, Bitcoin was at 19,000. And it was hitting 100. Okay? So, so was the 40 grand worth it? Yeah, I think it was probably a pretty good deal, right? Not to mention the guy sitting on the front row, by the way, I'm talking about myself while I do, I'm sharing some information that could become valuable to you in your life. Three, three uh, seats down for me, a young dude works for a company called Brookfield. Brookfield owns more apartments in the United States of America than any other group in America. I'm in the apartment business, kind of good for me. 
okay? And that reminds me of how many times in my life I bought the coach seat, stayed at the Ramada, right? Went on travel velocity and bought the best deal I could. Like, you know you're in trouble when you're shopping for the best deal. You guys know that, right? You are in trouble when you pick your hotels based on if the buffet is free in the morning. Because the problem with that is this. Everybody that you're going to stay with that weekend is worried about how much breakfast costs. See, see, you guys wouldn't spend the 40K. Only a couple of reasons why you wouldn't spend the 40K. Either you don't have it, right? You're worried, or you do have it, but you're worried about replenishing it. You should be taking notes right now. This would be the time to start scribbling and adding, because I've already stripped. I've already stripped some data away from you, okay? Money doesn't grow on? It's a lie, man. Money's a paper product, Okay. Money's a paper product. It comes from a cotton bush, okay? Because people talk about money, don't even know anything about it, okay? Look, this is paper. It's a piece of freaking paper. It came from a cotton bush, okay? It gets, it gets, it gets produced. You don't even need to make money. All you got to do is collect it, okay? People are like, I got to make some money. It's against the law to make money. Okay, who's got 20 bucks on him? Who's got, who's got 20? Let me, what, how, much, how much you got on you, sir? What you got on you, man? Let me, let me, let me have 100, man. Let me have 100. He's got a couple hundred. This guy's rolling. What's your name, man? Matthew. Matthew, good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. One. Fantastic. Two fifties, by the way. Who's on a 50? I'm going to teach you something about money right now. Who's on a 50? Okay. That's a president. Y'all don't, y'all don't know Ulysses says, Grant, this guy was a drunk. Okay? He about to become my son. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. <laughs> and I add to the stack. <laughs> and the only way I give it back is if he does something for me. Because I did something for him. Okay? What's your name again, sir? Matthew. Matthew. What do you do, Matthew? Matthew. This man sells insurance for security who? Security National? Dude, Security National. I did more for him than he did for me, right or wrong. All he did was give me two dead-ass presidents, (laughs) by the way, that aren't even his. Okay, I'm teaching you about money right now. These two $50 bills are not his. They never were his. They were somebody else's. Do you know who gave you these? You gave them? Who gave you the 250s before this? Bank teller. Bank teller. Who gave them to her? Who knows? Who knows? She don't. <laughs> she took them from some stranger. <laughs> there you go. That's money moving. You understand? So how did I get this money? I didn't come up with an idea. Okay? I went from an idea to who's got my damn money. Okay? My kids are going to end up with this on their feet. They're going to end up with them on their feet. I'm going to probably order some Nikes for them with 10X on the back. And it becomes what? Tax deductible. (laughs) I'm going to send them out there to the world and say, hey, man, go show them feet off. (laughs) Okay? Now, the reason I can do that is because I understand how much money it takes for me and my family, my community, my dreams, and my church. I know how much money is needed. Right? You guys are trying to pay your bills, man. I'm trying to take care of a freaking city. Right? I don't want to worry about jet fuel. I don't know what it costs. I don't care. How many of you grew up worried about your ga- the price of gas? Huh? How many of you put more air in your tires because your daddy said if you got them loaded up to 32, <laughs> you'll actually save some money on fuel? Huh? How many of you turn the air conditioning off still today? You're like, let me turn that air conditioning off. It's going to save me some fuel. A penny saved is? It's a penny, man. A penny is a penny. Remember this. A penny is a penny. You can save as many pennies as you want. It's never going to become freedom. Won't happen. You want freedom? That's how you get freedom right there. You get attention. Okay? Anybody that gets close to freedom on this planet... Gets attention first. You got to get attention first. So I asked you, why aren't you getting attention? 
How much attention is too much? Right? I didn't make that image, by the way. Somebody on Instagram made that image of me with the flag. He didn't see it like me doing the flag with 10,000 people behind me, 54,000 people in that stadium last night for 18 innings. By the way, I bought a ticket for nine innings and got 18. (laughs) Woo! Blessed. We left at the bottom of the 16th. My wife's like, why are we leaving? I'm like, because the country is going to sleep. Mission complete. I got to go get me some sleep. I'm going to Nashville. Okay. Okay. You learn anything? Do get attention. Number one, you got to get attention. So the second question now is, why aren't you getting attention? Only a couple reasons why you're not doing it. Okay. It's not because oh I'm an introvert. That is not the answer to the question. If you keep saying something to yourself and it doesn't solve your problem, you have the wrong answer. Okay. You need to write this down. If you keep saying something to yourself over and over and over again, and it does not solve the problem, you have the wrong answer, possibly even the wrong question. Okay. Why why am I not getting more attention, man? Some of you are thinking like this, like, why am I not, man? I wonder why am I not the guy that does the my, the, the, my pillow ad. Anybody know his name? Mike Lindell. Some of you know his name, man. Is that what it is? Mike Lindell. Got a little cross on, playing that, play, playing the cross thing. Huh, guy's a little toupee working. <laughs> Hugging it out with his pillow. Right? Dude, you got, you got, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. You know why I hate him? Because he reminds me of what I should be doing. And I hadn't had the courage to do. Billion dollars, a billion dollars in bullshit pillows. A pillow you got to put in your dryer to make it work. <laughs> pillow came to my house. We bought it after I saw the ad enough times. I like, shit. I hate the guy. I got to give him some money. I got to see what this pillow does. True story. Okay. Man, what's keeping me? I asked myself, what's keeping me from buying that ad? Why am I not doing a 30 second ad on TV every day? I mean, every hour. I mean, every 15 minutes. Why am I so scared? Why is it? Why aren't you guys getting attention? You got a good product? You got a good service? Until today, me and you didn't know each other. Did you know me? Yeah, I didn't know you, man. Shame on you. Right? You, got, you guys just say, oh, man, the guy posts too much. He does too much. He does this too much. He's got the big white car. He's got to do it. Dude, I ain't doing, I, it's not that I'm doing too much. I'm not doing enough. The only people that judge me for doing or too, too much are not doing anything. Right? Oh, by the way, while, you're, while you accuse me of doing too much, what are you doing? You're, not, you're accusing me of doing too much, which is nothing. How are you going to get attention? Okay? How are you going to get your spouse and your family on the same page to say, hey, I'm going to go out there and get attention? Right? If you, if you watch the way I'm doing my life, I don't know that I'm doing it right, by the way. I know, I know we're getting in neighborhoods where the zip code looks like better. It's like, oh, we're doing a little better now. Okay, we're doing a little better. My wife and I talk about this all the time. Hey, when are we going to finally make it? Last week, when, when are we going to finally make it? Is there about to be a breakthrough? We've been saying this for 15 years I've been with her. I promised her when I got together with her, I said, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to create something unbelievable for us. And I haven't delivered. That should bother you guys. Living below your potential, man. You're the only one that knows, by the way. Your family, your brothers and sisters, your moms and your dads that are not here today, they do not know what you're capable of. Listen to me. Your mom who birthed you, your dad who contributed. (laughs) It's a lazy contribution. Dads have a lazy contribution in the beginning. All pleasure oriented, you know, right? Bang, quickie. The mother, the woman has to handle it for nine months now. I mean, women are unbelievable. Would you agree? (laughs) Superior species on planet Earth, without a doubt, are women. Okay? 
You all think I'm kidding? Without a doubt, okay, I was raised by a, a, a single mother. My dad died when I was 10 years old. A single 4'11", she couldn't have been 4'11", little Sicilian lady, no education, okay? My mother, man, my mother never let me down, ever. My mother was always there for me. My mother was there for me when I didn't need her to be there for me, okay? Okay, she, didn't, she never let me down, but, but that doesn't mean she pushed me up. Do you understand the difference? My mom was a great mother. She was always there for me. It didn't mean she pushed me up to the next level, though, because every time I went to my mom and said, Mom, let me tell you what I'm doing, she would be like, that's awesome. But just, son, remember, I love you just the way you are. How many of you have a parent that will tell you that? Just remember. I was 50 years old and she would still tell me that. She's 70. She was 78 at the time. She's like, just remember. I love you just the way you are. You've done enough. When's enough enough, Grant? You're doing fine, Grant. I love you just the way you are. Love yourself the way you are, Grant. I'm like, but I don't. I can't lie to myself. I do not love the, the my, I, I don't. Chuck knows what I'm talking about. Chuck hates himself. Chuck knows he can do more. Chuck, am I right, Chuck? And then he's trying to communicate that to his wife for his wife to get it. And his wife is like, Chuck, what's wrong with you? Are you broken? Chuck, you need a therapist. Okay? And then he's going to go see the therapist like I did. And the therapist is going to be like, oh, yeah, you got ADD. You got, you got the, the OCD, you got the, 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 the OPD, you got the OCD, ACD, DDD. <laughs> you know? I said, no, I got the, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the OSD. I, I'm obsessed with success disease. I'm obsessed. And I want my damn $200 back. Don't tell me I'm ADD. I take an offense to that. Okay, I don't add, I multiply. <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to figure out how to run 70 businesses and have 70,000 employees. I'm not worried, what, what, what you worried about? You worried about how many browsers I got open in my mind? My mind, man, I was made by an infinite wisdom of the universe. Okay, and, you, and you, you think that I can't have six or seven windows open in my mind? That you think I got a disease that a lithium or a Prozac is going to solve my problems that were all given to me by a God that made everything? Okay, do you understand? Do you understand if, if yeah, thank you, if God was here today after working the week, he created the heavens, the earth, the rivers, the lakes, the oceans, okay, butterflies and bumblebees, mountaintops, all the planets. He's like, let's do Mars. Let's do Venus. Okay, let's do another universe. Let's do another galaxy. Okay, you know they would have called God OCD? Like, like, he, like God had some kind of problem. Why are, you, why are you producing so much? Can you imagine a therapist? Do you not love yourself, God? When's enough enough? He'd be like, rainbows, let's do them. Okay. Okay. Hey, 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 let's throw a man into the mix. By the way, he did all that and said, let's throw a man into the mix. That'll screw everything up right there. Okay. Okay. And then, pow, put some women in here to keep the ardor in. Okay. Okay. We're going to throw some animals in the mix. Throw in a Rottweiler and then put in one of them little baby dogs, little white dogs too. Okay? And then we're going to add a park. Okay? And then we're going to add Democrats and Republicans and watch them go at it. Okay? He did a lot of stuff, man. And then he's like, you know what? I think I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Shit, I, I'm going to take off Sundays. See, you guys read that in the Bible and y'all... y'all Y'all are like, oh yeah, Sunday, can't work on Sundays. Can't work on Sundays because, see, because you guys read what part of the Bible you wanted to read. He says he did all that and then he took off Sundays. You ain't done nothing and taken off two days. Right or wrong? I know people think they deserve two days and they, dude, you ain't done nothing, man. Like, like your sink is filled with dirty dishes. And you're taking off two days. Come on, man. Everybody can do more. How many of you in the room can do more? Okay. But it don't matter if you don't get attention. My daddy died because he worked and didn't get the proper level of attention. TV, radio. 
During my dad's time, when I grew up, it was NBC, ABC, and CBS, and radio. And you had to pay a lot of money. It was a billboard. You could buy billboards, okay? And, and, and if you were the mattress dealer in your town, if you were the insurance guy in your town, if you were the car dealer in your t- town, if you were the big guy in your town, you had the billboards, you had the TV, and you had the radio. Most of you in a the room, there's no way you could compete. You couldn't buy TV, radio, and billboards. They were too expensive. Today, what do you have? I got this. I got this, and everything's free. Okay? It's all free, man. It's free. It's, it's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, uh, Google Plus died. <laughs> so what it died? Facebook is going to die, man. Facebook will die before my apartment complexes die. Facebook will die, maybe in your lifetime, right? So, so I, I have a distribution network now, okay? So number one is, why aren't you getting attention? Number two, money, insecurity, don't know how to sell it. What, what do I do once I get a lead? If I get a lead, what's going to happen? Is that, could that be it? I don't know what to say to them. Don't know how to qualify them. Don't know how to present to them. Don't know how to negotiate with them. Don't know how to close them. Don't know how to follow up. Don't know how to handle a call. Don't know how to handle my money. Don't know how to handle my cash flow. Don't know how to build a business. Don't know how to hire people. Don't know how to keep people. Could that be a problem? I'm an introvert. No, dude, it can't be that simple, man. You've been telling people that bullshit too long. I'm an introvert. There's not even a test for that. It's not like you be negative. It's not like a blood. You take blood, man. You can't tell me if I got an ADD or I'm an introvert or an extrovert or a good speaker or a bad speaker. There's no test. Those are decisions you make in your mind. Okay? Now, if you're poor, there's a test. My bank statement says I'm poor. (laughs) Everything between poor and wealthy is bullshit. Everything between poor and financial freedom is just somebody coming up with definitions to make them feel, themselves feel good or feel bad. Middle class. Middle class is the biggest, one of the biggest lies on this planet. Perpetrated on you to get you comfortable. Okay? All these guys in the front row, man, y'all got it bad. They sold it to you. I got a nice house. I got two cars. Everything's paid for. Dave Ramsey's my guy. I got rid of... I'm paying off. I, all debt is bad debt. Do not have the debt if paid off my house. Paid off your house. What kind of, what kind of like, that's your flag? My house is paid off. What kind of flag is that? Warren Buffett's got one house. He never talks about it. Never talks about it. Okay, debt's not your problem. Production is your problem. How do I get attention? Number two, how do I get somebody else to pay for that ad? How do I get somebody else to buy my seat? Right? Oh, God. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't, I, you're not going to, hey, sweetie. I love you. Do I have your full attention? Okay, by the way, if you don't get people's full attention, you don't have their attention. Okay? You need to ask people when you're in front of them. Do I have your full attention? Before you pitch a product, do I have your full attention? Well, no, not really. Right now, I'm thinking about picking my kid up. Great. When can I get your full attention? Okay? When you're talking to your wife, do I have your full attention? It's very difficult to get anybody's attention today. Man, it's difficult, man. I, there was people, there was a guy sitting next to me two seats down last night at the World Series, and he was on his phone the whole time. I reached over to him. I said, dude, I want to remind you, this game will never happen again in the history of the world. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Okay. He's trying to get attention, but he's being consumed by the device. So you guys got to make a decision how you're going to use this device. Are you going to use it to get attention? Because if you don't make a decision to get attention with it, then I'm going to make an attention to get you. Okay? Bob Hope. How many of you remember Bob Hope? The, 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 okay, Bob Hope woke up every morning, and his first question every morning was this. If you guys don't know who Bob Hope was, Bob Hope was uh, the first guy that basically went from vaudeville to radio to TV. 
He was the first person that crossed over all those mediums. He was a vaudeville uh, character uh, working, you know, stages like this. And then he went and did a radio show. And then he went from radio to TV. And they said, don't go from radio to the big screen. It was the big screen or the tube. It was called the tube. Don't do it. You'll ruin your career. He crossed all of them. He was worth $800 million when he died. Okay. Unheard of in his time for actors and comedians. He would wake up in the morning. First thing he would say to himself, I'll never forget hearing this, man. When I heard this, it changed my life. Two things changed my life. I'll share them both with you. One was Bob Hope saying, when I wake up every morning, first question I ask myself is this, how do I promote Bob Hope today? How do I promote Bob Hope today? Okay. Not how do I promote insurance today or how do I promote the 10X rule? How do I promote Grant Cardone today? Because if you don't know me, if you don't know me, you will not buy my book. People do not buy from people they trust. Listen to what I'm telling you right now. How many of you heard that before? People buy from people they trust. Okay. It's such like grooved into you. People buy from people they trust. No, they don't. People buy from people they know. And best product doesn't win. How many of you have an example of the best product not winning? How many of you in the room have a better product? Maybe even a lower price, more value, more, and you still don't win. Bad products win all the day. Coca-Cola, terrible product. McDonald's, awful product. Been beating people for years, right? Alcohol, terrible product. Okay, Visa, MasterCard. Products of the devil. Beat people into submission every day. Bam! Okay. How about this? How about buying a house? Terrible, terrible, terrible product. And when I say that to the room, you guys had this mental screeching going on like, what? A house is a terrible, terrible, terrible investment. And I don't have enough time with you to convince you of it because it's been pounded into your psyche so hard that you think a house is where your family is safe and secure. You guys, believe, you guys had the home thing sold on you so hard that you spend so much time in your house, you could never, ever have financial freedom. Man, a house is a place to leave, not a place to stay in, okay? When 9-11 happened, if you look at the graphs, when you look at the graphs, are you sleeping? Get, pick your head up. Make your freaking vertebrae work. Okay? When, when 9-11 happened, right after that, housing in America spiked. Okay? I believe what happened was 9-11 happened. It's terrified people. And they said, I don't care about money anymore. I care about safety and security in my family. So I'm going to go buy a house. I'm going to get rid of all my dough. And I'm going to buy a house so we're safe and secure. And people went introverted. Okay? They introverted. They made a decision to go inside. Have you ever made money at your house? When, when, how'd you make money at your house? Huh? Oh, you're selling? You're selling from home? Okay, you rented it out. But have you ever made money at your house? Like how much money did you make at your house, man? Huh? How much money have you made at your house? Okay. I said money. Have you ever made money at your house? Okay. Have you ever collected money at your house? How much? $2,400. Have you ever collected real money at your house? Dude, $2,400 is not money, bro. You guys got to decide what your account is money. Right? Every time you go to eat, every time you go to eat, you're making decisions about money, okay? When you came here, how much were the tickets, Cody? What'd y'all sell these, give these away for? Huh? 500 bucks. You're like, $500, a lot of money. Automatic response by everybody. Oh my God. Okay? It doesn't matter what it is, by the way. It's a bicycle for your kids. You love your kids. 200 bucks for a bike, $100 for shoes. Every time you see a price on anything, you're like, I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Okay? Right? Okay? See, see what happens now, if you do that, if you do that every time you see a price, guess what? When you go to price something, what you're going to do? Huh? 
you're going to get it back or you're going to get back the limited thinking, right? If you go to eat dinner and you're like, dinner is $49.95 for, for, a din- for, for a steak and you're asking your spouse, you're like, what are you going to get? You want the steak, but you don't want to order the steak because you're scared she's going to order it too. <laughs> you, even, you even looked at the steak and the lobster, but you're like, that's 90 bucks, dude. I ain't doing 90. I ain't doing it. You're having this conversation with yourself, by the way. Ain't no way in hell I'm spending 90 on this and that. Baby, what you getting? I was thinking about getting the damn the lobster and the steak. Oh, shit, I'm getting it too. If you're going to get it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm going to let you eat that and not eat it. Okay? See, 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 but here's the problem. Tomorrow you're going to go to work and have trouble selling a $90 product. Because you think $90 is a bunch of money. You have to strip this away. You got to strip away what's too much. What is money? What do, how much do you actually need? Okay? Most of you in a room are comfortable. You're like, I'm good, man. I'm good until somebody shows me the price of something. Right? And then I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not good. See, that's what you need to start thinking about. You need to start getting around people that are like, hey, what would that cost me? How do I get it? Okay? How could you sit on the front row? I, wanted to play, I, I thought I was going to be a baseball player when I was a kid. I couldn't make it. The fact that I could sit on the front row at World Series, be behind the umpire, watch a hundred mile an hour baseball, I can't get on the field. I can't be on the field. The fact that I can pay to sit and watch a hundred mile an hour fastball moving like this and have as good a view as the umpire, okay? It's unbelievable, man. All I had to do was this. Give them some money for this seat. The guy I bought the seat from, he's been there 16 years following the Dodgers. He traded his moment last night, the longest World Series in the history of the world, for pieces of paper that aren't even mine. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? So my question to you is, why aren't you getting attention? Do you not know what to do with it once you get it? Is that it? Okay? Do you not know how to greet somebody? Nobody taught you how. In fact, your parents taught you what? Don't get too much attention, okay? Hey, by the way, how, how many of you heard this? How many parents in a room? How many parents in a room? Okay, let's see if you're a good parent. How many of you consider yourselves good parents? Say yes if you consider yourself a good parent. Okay, did you, did you teach your parents or your kids, did you teach your kids not to talk to strangers? No, but how many of you have done that? Let me just hear a yes if you did. Don't talk to strangers. ISIS is out there. Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. I didn't know him a second ago. He would be qualified as a stranger. Everybody agree with that? He is a stranger. Most of you in a room are strange to me. You are strangers. Okay? Sabrina, what do I teach you about strangers? I say, man, you talk to strangers, little girl. Strangers have everything you want. Everything you've ever dreamed of, a stranger has it. Okay? You guys might want to write this down. If you want more, a stranger has it. Okay, because if your family was going to give it to you, they'd already done that. Okay, they've had plenty of time to take you to the next level. They ain't done it. Your mama, your daddy, your brother, your cousin. I got a sister. She says, oh, I love you. I said, yeah, but you never buy my stuff. I I think I want a little less love and a little more seeing you on my invoices. I want my I want my family to buy for me. I want my friends to fund me. I want, I had a guy, I had a guy t- uh, text me on the way over this today. He's like, hey man, am I going to be at your, am I going to speak at your conference? And I'm like, I, I don't know, dude. I, I, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking you're not going to be there because you're not helping me fill the damn place up. But man, I really want to speak at your deal. Good. I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven, dude, but I don't want to die today. See, 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 everybody wants to go to the promised land. Nobody wants to pay the price. Man, what are you willing to do to get there? What are you willing to trade to get there? Are you willing to pay for access? The great secret on this planet, okay, is this is what success looks like for most people right here. Right? You, how many of you have seen that little Instagram post? I don't know if they can, they can, they can hone in on me right here. Can you, can you hone in on? Take, come in on the shot, man. Get rid of this. We, yeah. Can you see this? Where, where, where's the, where's the, oh, it's right here. Okay. Can y'all see that? Can you see that? 
See, how many of you have seen this on Instagram before? What success really looks like? How many have seen it? Everybody's like, oh yeah, that's right. That's what it really looks like. No, that's what confusion looks like. That's just stupidity right there. You know what this is? This is listening to too many people. Go, go, listen to Dave Ramsey. Listen to Grant. Grant says, homes are ridiculous investments and to use debt on real estate that produces income. Dave says, never use debt. You're confused, dude. You're not going to do anything. That is not what success looks like, okay? Success looks like this. Sabrina, did you give me that other one? Oh, my gosh, Sabrina. I did, I did have it, didn't I? Okay. Oh, my gosh, this note was unbelievable. Okay, guys, that's all I got. <laughs> this is what success looks like. It should be just like this. It should be just like that. Okay? It shouldn't be up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. It shouldn't be good month, bad month, good month, bad month, good month. It shouldn't be that. You know why? If I get rid of the downs, if I get rid of the downs, what do I end up with? All ups, man. All you got to do is get rid of the downs. That means you got to start looking at the people around you. You got to look at your limited thinking. Okay. You got to look at the people around you. that are supporting. Oh, why are you going to one of those seminars? How many of you heard that from one of your friends th- this weekend? Hey, where are you going this weekend? I'm going to go to this thing. It did that. Oh shit. You know, that's all bullshit. You know, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You know, I've been, I've been to thousands of these where 990 of them didn't work. Okay. And then bang, something happened. Now, I don't know if the other 990 didn't work. This one did work. I don't know. I know this. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep reading books. I'm going to keep learning information. I'm going to keep grabbing content and hope that one day it changes me and makes me a better person. Okay? But I also need to look at this. I got to be willing to get rid of some of my old ideas. Some Some of the old thinking. Work hard, work hard. I got work hard down. How many of you got work hard down? You got, you got like, I know how to work hard, dude. Okay. I know how to do that. I don't know how to buy access. You understand? How do I trade money for access? How do I exchange dead presidents for living people that can help me? Most of us won't do that. How many of you have money in the bank right now? You got money in a savings account because you don't get it then. You shouldn't have any money in the bank. It's not helping you, man. How can money in the bank help you? It doesn't help you. It helps the bank. (laughs) Cash is? Cash is trash. Okay? You need people. I need people. Okay? I exchange this hundred for a connection that gets me a thousand. I'm not talking about advertising, by the way. What we did last night was not advertising. That's not advertising. That's branding. That's courage. You understand the difference? I'm not buying an ad. By the way, I buy ads. We spend about a million dollars a month in advertising. Okay? A million dollars a month. I probably spend another five million dollars in organic energy, just producing tremendous amounts of content online. And by the way, I want to be monetized for as much of it as I can be, as fast as I can be. So, so... I want to monetize. I have, I have charities I want to help. Now, now again, if you go online, you're going to search people and they're going to be like, man, you should give your content away for free. You should do this for free. You should do that for free. Dude, I do plenty of stuff for free. Okay? Most of the stuff I don't do for free, I actually lose money on the deal. I lose money on this deal. I guarantee you. Okay, flying over here, I'm negative. That's fine with me. But let me tell you what I do get, okay? I get to know more people. Everybody agree? Some of you are going to like me. Some of you aren't going to like me. Dude, I'm going to tell you something. I think, I think those of you who leave and, 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 and don't like me actually become more valuable to me than the people that do like me. I, I just need to get you to the next level and not like me. I need to move you into the hate category. If I can get you into hate, dude, I could be the president of the United States. <laughs> if I could get half the country to hate me, and I could get the other half to freaking fund me. It's not because they're going to fund me because they like me. They worried about the other half. Okay? 
Why aren't you advertising? Oh, I don't have the money. Why don't you have the money? Because I don't know how to get him to give me his money and then trade that money for more advertising. You understand? You guys aren't broke. This is, this is not, take all my money from me. People ask, oh, hey, what, what would happen if I took all your money? Dude, I, I wouldn't have this. I'm still going to be me. I bet you I could do this presentation with empty pockets. How many believe that? Okay. Okay. It's just paper, man. It's just paper. You get it? It's pieces of paper. It's like this. It's like this thing. It's a piece of paper. Take it from me. Take it from me. Steal it from me. You can't steal my courage from me. Try taking that away from me. You can't, you can't take away my experiences. Try, try stealing my experiences. Right? You can't take away my commitment. Try to steal my commitment. But most of you protect your money more than you do those three things right there. Right? You, can't, you can't take my connections, my ability to call people up on the phone and say, I need some help right now, man. Okay? So, so look, I want to help you. Okay? These guys want to help you. They want to help you. They want to stay connected with you, the right people. Stay connected with the right people. How do you stay connected with the right people that can help you grow and build your business? I want to help you. How, how many of you would like to have this kind of thing happening to you all the time in your life? All right? Okay. How, how many of you would like me to coach you on a daily basis and have access to this? Okay. You guys need somebody to tell you the truth. And it might be a follow-up problem you have. It might be a sales problem you have. It might be a negotiating problem you have. It might be just a motivation problem you have. It might be, I don't know how to handle somebody's objections. Okay? It might be an incoming phone call. It might be, I need to train my staff. That, that's what I do. At, we, we have a platform called Cardone University. And that platform, who's got, who's got Cardone University? Things sick, man. Okay? Millions and millions of people are in that platform getting mentoring from me, okay? If you go on your phone, I'm going to do this till t- tonight at about 10 o'clock, okay? If you put 313131 in your phone, let me see what Jared sent me. This is a $20,000 program. And I'm going to do something for you I haven't, I've never done before. Uh, let me see what Jared sent me. Um, it's $197. Okay. It's a $20,000 program. It's, it's $197 for three months, and then it's nine bucks a month. I'm reading off of this right now. Okay. What, 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 uh, what, do, what do they put in there? Did he say? Oh, yeah. Put my name in. C-A-R-D-O-N-E. That way you remember my name. Okay. 31, 31, 31. It'll be taken down at 9.59 tonight. Promise you it will be eliminated tonight. You'll never get another chance to do this. Um, He's saying it's 197 bucks. It's a $20,000 program. Companies pay us 40, 20 to $40,000 per location to purchase this. Millions of dollars. I produce millions of dollars of this selling to companies. You guys have it. Would y'all pay me? 700 a month? Okay. So $197 for the first three months. So whatever that comes to, 60 bucks a month. And then it's $9 a month. This is Johnny the camera guy. Give him a big hand. Okay. <laughs> Everybody knows Johnny, by the way. By the way, let me just finish with this. You don't just want to get attention for yourself. You need to get attention for your team. I have Ryan Secco back here, real estate Ryan back here. Okay, good, jo- good guy right here in the shadows. I got my wife here, beautiful Elena Cardone. Okay. Uh, these guys, Michael Burt, these are friends of mine. Chuck's been to our 10X Growth Conference. I got a lot of people here. Like, I want to bring attention not just to the team, not just to me, not just to my team. I got my kids right here, Sabrina and Scarlett. Sabrina, I got April right here, the ace right here. She's homeschooling the kids, and she's the nanny for the kids. See, I want to give attention to the people around me so that everybody around me is doing well. I don't want to be the only guy winning. Okay. Don't, how many of you in the room want everybody around you winning? Dude, I want everybody. I don't want Johnny with a money problem. I want Johnny. There's too many people out there. They're the only person getting the attention and the only person with the money. Right? So I, I want people around me doing well. This guy's got more money today than he had. How long have you been working for me, Johnny? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. He had, he had 25 years to save money. He's put more money away in the last three and a half years than he did the first 25 you got to get around the right people, folks. That means two things. Make a commitment today to get around the right people. Two, you need information, and you need it all the time, not just once in a while. You need the information. You don't need information from 97 sources. You need to pick somebody. Pick a mentor. You don't need 50 coaches. 
You need a person. April, the nanny uh, and the the homeschooler said to me, Grant, when I'm homeschooling uh, the kids, what do you want from? I want my kids, April, to be able to walk into any room, anywhere in the world, and no matter what the discussion is, this is all I want from the homeschooling, no matter what the discussion is, I want my kids to be comfortable that they know what they're talking about in that room. It's all I care about, okay? Hey, I'll teach them to rest. I'll teach them to rest, okay? My job is to create a safe environment for my kids to come introduce themselves to strangers. My job is to protect them and push them out into the world. That's my job with you guys, okay? My job, the next 20 years of my life, is going to be about pushing you guys to the next level in your life. By pushing you to the next level, it'll pull me to the next level. Okay, I hope you do your part. Thank you for having me here. Cody, Lauren, thank you guys for having me, okay? Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Grant Cody. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I have four boards up here. We don't have that much time today. And I love to talk, by the way. I talk all day. So on one side, you have the inner world, which represents all the things that happen up here between your ears before you ever go out into the world.